Hello guys, in this video I'm going to tell you 8 things that you can do to help your computer increase its speed. So we dive into it, just go down below and click on subscribe so that you will see all our future videos. Okay, so the speed of the computer is the most important thing. Whatever that you'll be doing, if you're doing video editing, if you're doing normal browsing, or if you're doing any other things that you might be required to do maybe at work or at home. The computer speed or the processing speed of each and every application is very vital. So these tips are, will help you to increase the overall performance of your computer. Okay. So the first one now is you have to reduce the program that run on startup. What do you mean when you say startup? These are the programs that run the moment that you switch your computer on. For example, Skype, that Skype that comes with the operating system. The moment that you just switch off your computer, it will automatically run. So if there are too many of those programs that run on startup, they will end up slowing down your computer. So I'll make another video so that you, you actually see how you can deactivate all those programs that run at startup. You will just leave the ones that you use or the ones that are important in your line of work. That's one. And then the next uh, point that I'm going to tell you is remove all unnecessary softwares or all those programs that you're no longer using. Maybe you downloaded a certain software and then you installed it and you no longer need it. There's no need for you to keep it in your memory. Just go to your uh, control panel and uninstall that program. Otherwise, that will be the program that will be causing your computer to perform very, very, very slowly. Then number three is use a browser that is fast. So you see that most of the things that we do nowadays is web-based. So it means you'll be using a browser. And then if you're using a slow browser, you tend to have uh, slow speeds. But if you're using a better or a faster browser, you tend to, to have higher speeds. And the higher the speed, the higher the overall performance. Okay. So with me, I prefer Google Chrome. Google Chrome is the best. In 2020, Google Chrome is the best. Okay. So I, I advise you to also use Google Chrome. Or maybe if you just, just go and compare all the browsers that you have nowadays. Firefox. Uh, Google Chrome, Opera Mini, etc, etc. Just come in and see which one works best for you. But for me, I prefer Google Chrome. Okay. And then number four, clean, clean your browser. So when, when you say clean your browser is you go to your history, you go to your settings on your browser and then you click on history, go to history and click on clean your history, clear your cookies. That will help to improve the overall performance of your browser there by increasing the overall performance of your computer. Okay. And then, okay. and then number five, use an updated antivirus. Okay. How virus work is that virus are, are, are trained to know the virus that they will be scanning for. So it means now if your virus is not up to date, it will not be able not to recognize the new virus that will be in circulation. So you have to constantly update your antivirus. Another thing now is if you can afford buy an antivirus, don't go for the free ones. Because obviously, a free software will not, will not be as good as the one that you paid for. Okay. And then number six, defragment your hard drive. Defragment is now putting your hard drive into parts. Maybe you can say part A, part B, and part, uh, part C. Defragmenting, now you can do it in Windows. The operating system come, comes with a utility software that will help you to put your hard drive into parts. So that you have to say, maybe you say you assign a certain hard drive for a certain operation in another hard drive, maybe hard drive B for a for certain operation, so that your overall performance will be improved. Okay. And then number seven, add more RAM. So if you open your computer on your CPU, you see that where there is your RAM, there will be another free slot for you to add. There are other computers that will be having two more slots. Some just have one. It all depends with the manufacturer, with the model, and um, and whoever will have made that computer. So what you can do is you can actually go to a computer shop and buy another RAM. And then you come there. It's just a chip. And then you just uh, place that RAM into the slot. And then you see that your overall uh, processing time will be improved greatly. Okay, that's another one. And then remember, when a process is, uh, is being executed, all the instructions will be taken from the main memory and then they'll come into the RAM and then they'll be in the RAM as the process is being executed. Meaning to say if there is less space in the RAM, it will take a lot of time for that process to, to finish execution. So it means now increasing the size of the RAM, it will also increase the speed of execution of that process. Thereby, your computer will also have a faster processing speed. 
So that's number seven. Number the last one, which is number eight, which is the biggest one, is now switch to new technology. That's the SSD, the solid state drives. So this was now you see, they are way faster. What there is what you call access time. So the access time when you're using those old um, hard drives, those old hard drives with the, opt the, the optical was and the, the magnetic ones, their access time now was a bit larger compared to the ones that the SSD will be having. So it means now if you are using an SSD, you have a higher overall speed compared to when you're using an, an optical. Those old uh, hard drives that you, when this, when they run, there'll be something that will be inside that will be going around and round and round and round and round. So you tend to see that as your computer heats up now, all those disks inside that, those uh, hard drives now that, 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 that will be turning will tend to, to be affected. And then, then by now it will, it will actually increase the access time to get information from the hard drive, thereby decreasing the overall speed of your whole system. So go for the SSD. So if you have liked this video, just go down below and click on subscribe so that you see our future videos. Okay.